nowadays the, the contributions, whether artistic or from various fields of cultural productions, to what we still call the documentary field or documentary strategies are so there are so many of them around and they are so um, highly differ differentiated and diverse uh, that it's very difficult to claim that one one can you know uh, know everything about what's going on so it, I don't think it's uh, you can still ask very basic questions with uh, very few and very specific material and uh, you know one one image can open up uh, a series of queries and requests and questions on a documentary so it's very very difficult there is no general um, strategy or mainstream of critical theory related to the documentary there are very different approaches you you can follow you know it, it what what has become very prominent throughout the last few years is the the post and the anti-colonial approach you know so every five years there is added another cultural theory approach onto the images and what they show how they produce meaning what they are missing what they are lacking how they are still maybe related to uh, conventions of representation uh, that are still modern and don't and really don't apply so I don't, I don't think there is a kind of a general um, theme or a general interest nowadays. It's very diverse and uh, I think that that is one of the most interesting uh, developments that uh, the artistic practices have becoming uh, ever more specific. All that uh, a very famous artist or photographer is visiting the Congo during the genocide, you know, and brings back, I don't know, a bunch of, of images and making his book, you know. Um, I think that's something from the past, you know. I, I experience very much that uh, artists nowadays, they take very specific contexts into their view, you know. They research uh, maybe just a little incident that happened or a very local uh, phenomenon or a very local territory or region or a very specific historical incident and, and from that they start their research you know and then they try to uh, to uh, transform the, 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 the major narratives that have developed around this historical incident or this local um, uh, incident or a local history I think and that's that's very interesting and very important that it gets even more precise you know it's not about I don't know, the poor people and the suffering people and the violence in Africa, you know. What, what should one add to this very major question? But you can go to a specific country, to a specific city, uh, you can uh, work with a specific group of people, women, a specific ethnic group or something, you know, you can narrow down the context and be very specific and very precise. Huh? <laughs> Stephanie Kiewicz, she, she made a, a visual survey of two or three years of a abandoned territory near Ghent, you know, there were kind of homeless people uh, youth was using it, you know, it, it's one of these off territories, you know, where, where mm -hmm. it's, you know, partly illegally and, and it's one of the, the regions we all know in every city, uh, you know, where things are going to happen anyway, uh, which are sometimes one of the rare non-controlled, uncontrolled areas. Uh, so this is a very specific challenge, she made her research and she was uh, but not photographing the people but just what, what they left, you know, if, if there's going a party to happen and if people burn uh, tires for, uh, to, to warm themselves, there is always something left, you know, and from this what's left you can uh, detect what, what has been going on. You know? 
It's a very specific Torah in a, in a, in a limited uh, amount of time. Uh, and Helmut and Johanna Kandel, they have been grown up near the, the Austrian-Czechoslovakian border in, in the Weinviertel. So the whole work is about their weird view they had on, the, on Eastern Europe as children, you know. Because I remember myself that we have maps of Europe and the Eastern European bloc was all white, you know. There were not even one city marked in, into the territory. So we had Im imaginations about w what's going on there and things like that. So it's very, it's very specific uh, in a way. And there are examples in the show as well, I would say. As I come from Austria, we had uh, several elections throughout the last years and we see that uh, the, the right-wing, uh, even neo-whatsoever fascist parties gain e more and more influence. And of course, it's a very uncomfortable situation when you, you don't know whom you can trust, you know. At this point, maybe the artists come into play because the, all the artists I know, they do not pretend to give you an objective insight in what they have experienced, but they give you a very clear view on their decisions, you know. It's, it's on the table, in a way, you know. This work we are in here, Philipp Geiser, you know, from the first view, you know that this is a very specific personal selection, organization of images. You, you would not treat this as documentary, you know. It has been that way wherever, in South Nevada or in South Carolina or whatsoever. So I think it's important that uh, the context, uh, the choices you made, the selections you made and why you did it are becoming transparent. And that's basically what artists do. They make installations, they organize material uh, for you to decide, you know.